as a psychiatrist, I remember very well the condemnation by the American Psychiatric Association of Soviet psychiatrists and the Soviet Union for their use of psychiatric techniques and psychiatric medications to control political dissidents. Sadly, shockingly, we in the United States have become those same oppressors. We now have a policy as exemplified by the FBI brochure from the Phoenix Office on Counterterrorism, which says people who are defenders of the U.S. Constitution against federal government and the U.N. and make numerous references to the U.S. Constitution should be monitored as potentially murderous and fanatical terrorists, by extension, should be considered mentally unstable. Under the New Freedom Commission, mentally unstable people must be medicated on a compulsory basis with lethal and untested but very profitable psychiatric medications. In this country now, we're seeing drugs cradle to grave. In fact, it's not just in America, it's in other countries also. Children as young as two years of age are being put on certain types of drugs to decrease the amount of their aggressive tendencies. When they're evaluated and felt to be just too aggressive at two years of age, they place them on a drug. All the way up and through high school into adults, and of course we know how the adults are being affected by drugs like Prozac, Zoloft, Wellbutrin, and being placed on these for all kinds of reasons. The drugs are being used all the way through the adult period of life into the geriatric. When I was a director of nursing in, in a nursing home, I would see these people being medicated so severely to keep them quiet, to keep them from doing anything, having any feelings. They were easier to maintain in bed than they were to get out. And this is a horrible situation that we have evolved into in this country. And of course, now with Alzheimer's, it makes it even worse, the medication of these elderly people. So we have now a system that finds a reason to medicate everybody. Now this is absolutely bizarre when you consider that freedom of fill in the blank is what this country is all about. And yet, under the guise of a diagnosis, whether it's accurate or not, these people will then be forcibly drugged and helped or hindered, who knows? Who knows what will happen as a result of these de deleterious drugs that are given in combinations and amounts that many times are not safe.